There's this idea on the internet. Usually it is talked about by Linux YouTubers. They have this claim that there is no such thing as the Linux community. That the Linux community, as most people think about it, doesn't actually exist. And I think that that is 100% not true. I think that it is blatantly obvious to anyone who pays attention that the Linux community actually does exist. All you have to do is be where the Linux community is. They're in forums, they're on Reddit, they're in Discord, they're in IRC. That is the Linux community. Is it fractured? Is it fragmented? Yes, definitely. There are many tribes within the Linux community that all are very happy to proclaim their love of whatever it is they use on any given day. And I'm talking about the Arch guys, of course, the Emacs guys, the Gen 2 guys, you know, the, every, everyone has their thing that they love and they try to market that thing as much as possible to other people. Sometimes not in the most tactful way, but, it, you know, whatever, that's just kind of the way they are. And, you know, that's okay, I guess. I mean, some people go a little bit far with it, but whatever it is. But to say that the Linux community doesn't exist is just wrong-headed because it does exist. It is a collection of smaller communities, just like any large community can be. It's like a, a city. Like, just, just because, you know, like New York City exists, but it's filled with a whole bunch of little cities inside of it, you know? It has boroughs, and it has, like, Chinatown, and, you know, all, the, all, all these little hamlets where people congregate because of similarities or whatever, because of history, right? Linux is kind of the same way. People congregate in little places, but they're all a part of this grander thing that is the Linux community, because it definitely does exist. And the thing about it is that the Linux community is amazing. Like, one of the things that I talk about all the time as being the greatest thing about Linux, it's not the open source nature of the kernel, it's not the plethora of software that's available or the choice you have when it comes to distros or desktop environments or window managers. It's none of those things. Those are all great, but the best thing, the absolute best thing about Linux, the best thing that you'll ever discover on Linux is the community itself. Because not only are there a ton of people here that are willing to help you and talk to you and just be nerds with you, you also just find a ton of people who are like you, you know what I mean? They, If you consider yourself a nerd or a tech person like that's moving into nerddom, you know, whatever stage of the process you're in, you're going to find people who are exactly like you, who got into Linux for the exact reasons you've gotten into it, and you don't even have to have problems and talk about problems with them. You just have to find that you have these things in common, and the number of friends you'll make in this situation is astonishing because that's been my experience and a lot of the people that I've talked to have also been in the exact same boat. They came into the Linux community and just have met so many wonderful people. Even if they don't go to conferences and stuff like that, even just if it's just online friends, you're going to find that there are just so many people that are in the same boat that you are. They're living their lives and they've chosen to do so in some part by being a part of this wonderful community. And to say that it doesn't exist kind of cheapens it in such a way that makes me feel a little sad because if you don't think that the Linux community exists, that means that the only experiences you've had with it were probably negative. And that is a little disappointing because that, and, and that is something that happens. Like if you come into using Linux and your first experience is negative, you're, you know, you meet the RTFM guy or you meet the guy who says everything's a skill issue because you're obviously a dumbass, you know, if your only experience with the Linux community is the small portion of the Linux community that are assholes, you know, maybe you don't, maybe you think that the only part of the Linux community that exists are those people. And that's not true at all. Like, it's just not true. <laughs> okay. The Linux community is filled with people who are helpful, friendly, passionate about open source software. And the vast majority of them are perfectly happy to talk up for days on end about basically anything, you know. And 
that's what makes it so amazing. You can get in forums and IRC and just have random chats with people about things that interest you. And it's an experience that is hard to find in any other place, specifically surrounding things like software. You're not going to find a community like this with Windows. The only time you ever interact with a fellow Windows user is when you're having problems with, with Windows. Because nobody's really passionate about Windows, you know what I mean? Mac and Apple is a little bit different because they do have that fandom, you know, like feel. Like people who are users of Apple software and hardware, they're fans of it, right? Just like Linux people are fans of Linux, you know, they have that fandom feel. And those two communities are kind of similar, but with Linux, at least you feel like you can be proud because it's Everything here that we create, that, that the Linux community creates, I don't want to say I create anything, but the, the, the Linux community and creates the developers and stuff like that, it, it's created by the community for the community, and it's something to be proud of. And if you can get into the community and talk to people, maybe become involved in creating documentation, or if you're a coder, you know, start developing stuff, whatever, it's an inclusive experience. And I think that's what makes the Linux community so damn good is that you can get involved in any number of ways. You don't have to be technologically astute. You can just be the type of person who gets in there and finds typos in documentation or uh, takes screenshots for documentation or whatever. You know, you, there's any numbers of ways to get involved. And when you do get involved, however small amount that is, even if it's just talking to other people and trying to come up with ideas... You know, when you do become involved, it makes you feel a part of something that is so much bigger. And I think that that is so good. So, to those of you who don't think the Linux community is good or the don't think the Linux community exists, I don't think that you're right. I think the Linux community is fantastic. And without it, I don't think that Linux would be the, as good as it is. So, that's it for this video. A little bit of a rambly video. Those things happen from time to time. If you have comments on this, you can leave those comments in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the LinuxCast. If you want to follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey, you can find those links in the video description right below the like button. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the LinuxCast, just like all of these fine people. Thanks to all of you who support me on Patreon and YouTube. I truly do appreciate it. I always say this in... You would think that I'd spend some time away from making these videos to come up with the words, but I still don't have the words just to say how grateful I am to everyone who supports me on Patreon and YouTube. So thank you so very, very much. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.